A risk matrix is a valuable tool in risk management that helps assess and manage risks. It effectively identifies and measures the likelihood and potential impact of risks. By visually categorizing risks based on their probability and severity, a risk matrix provides a clear understanding of the risks involved. Different versions of risk matrices exist, such as 5x5, 4x4, and 3x3, and choosing the right template can be a subject of debate among professionals. It is important to select a system that suits your team's needs, considering that fewer rows and columns offer less detailed analysis. When conducting a cyber risk assessment, the organization should start by defining and prioritizing its assets before proceeding with the assessment. Various tools can be employed to aid in the process, including a risk assessment risk analysis matrix that quantifies and visualizes data. This matrix combines two parameters, the impact of the risk scenario and the probability of its occurrence to generate a risk score. A risk and control matrix, or RECM, is a valuable tool for ranking risks and implementing controls to mitigate them. It visually represents potential risks and the protective measures taken to reduce them providing an overview of an organization's risk profile. Inherent risks exist inherently in assets, but controls and safeguards can be implemented to lower them, resulting in a new score known as residual risk. The effectiveness of these controls determines the extent to which the impact and probability of risks are reduced, thus influencing the level of residual risk. Advanced approaches may separately attribute effectiveness to impact or probability, leading to more accurate residual risk scores, but this is typically employed in mature security practices. A risk matrix helps prioritize the most severe risks faced by a company, considering that resources are limited and not all risks can be addressed. Categorizing risks using a traffic light color scheme on the matrix allows for easy identification of the most urgent threats, enabling focused attention on them. Ultimately, organizations need to accept a certain level of risk to achieve success. A 3x3 risk matrix has three levels of probability and three levels of severity. For example, a standard 3x3 risk matrix contains the following values. Severity levels. Low. The hazard may either be controlled or would commonly result in less than minor illness, injury, or system damage. Moderate. The hazard may commonly cause severe injury or illness or major system damage, requiring immediate corrective action. Critical. The hazard may commonly cause death or major system loss, requiring immediate cessation of the unsafe activity or operation. Probability levels. Improbable. Unlikely but possible to occur during standard operations. Occasional, likely to occur sometime during standard operations. And probable, likely to occur often during standard operations. By multiplying the risk probability by its severity, you can calculate the level of acceptability of its risk. A 3x3 risk matrix is a simple and basic tool for risk assessment. While it's easy to understand nature promotes discussions on the severity of hazardous scenarios, its simplicity can lead to errors and challenges in determining the boundary between acceptable and unacceptable risk. With only three risk categories, a 3x3 matrix may not provide enough granularity for complex risks. In such cases, a 4x4 or 5x5 matrix would be more suitable, enabling more nuanced and detailed risk assessments. To learn more, visit centralized.com.